For over 300 years, Husqvarna has been nestled along the shores of Lake Vettern in southern Sweden. Since 1872, Husqvarna Viking has been the world leader in the development of the most advanced and easiest sewing machines. It's a good idea to stop the video and try the techniques when this logo appears at the end of each section. Place your Husqvarna Viking Designer 1 on a firm surface. Pull out the foot control cord. Plug the foot control in the front plug. Plug the power cord into the back socket. Turn on power and light. Your Designer 1 displays the welcome logo followed by the main menu. Place the accessory feet bobbins and other accessories in the accessory tray. An extension is stored in the back of the accessory tray. Place the extension into the space between the tray and the free arm. Lift the front cover to open it. Use the main spool pin vertically with the large spool holder under the thread or horizontally so the thread reels counterclockwise. Always use the spool pin vertically with the felt pad when embroidering. Place the flat side of the small spool holder against small spools, the large spool holder against large spools. Follow the threading arrows. Pull the thread firmly until you hear a click in the tension discs. Continue to follow the threading arrows. Pull the needle threader down and forward. Place the thread in the metal guide and under the hook. Bring the needle threader back and up. Pull the loop of thread out, under the presser foot, and into the thread cutter. To wind the bobbin directly from the needle, place the empty bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle with the Husqvarna Viking logo mark toward you and pull the bobbin down. Pull the thread under the presser foot, over the guide wires and the bobbin guide disc. Wind a few turns of thread and cut. Step on the foot control to wind the bobbin or touch the start stop function button. The bobbin stops automatically when full. Move the bobbin winder spindle up, remove the bobbin and cut the thread. To wind a bobbin directly from the spool, raise the second spool pin Pull down the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Place the large spool holder on the spool pin and thread around and into the bobbin tension disc under the bobbin guide, over the bobbin guide disc, around the bobbin and wind. The bobbin will stop when full. Slide off the bobbin cover. Place the bobbin with the Husqvarna Viking logo up. Put your finger on the bobbin to keep it from turning. Place the thread to the left into the tension spring. Thread up and around the guide, down into the thread cutter. Replace the cover and pull the thread to the left to cut it. Stop the tape now and practice threading your Husqvarna Viking Designer 1. The color touch screen makes sewing easy. Select the 19 specialty stitch menus for over 600 stitches. Touch adjust to change stitch length, width, elongation and mirror image. Touch menu to come back to this main menu. Touch norm for normal sewing. Touch prog to program stitches and letters and to customize when the embroidery unit is on. Touch Rep to sew your programmed stitches. Touch Set to change settings such as tension and to set the twin needle safety. Touch Help for suggestions on needle, stabilizer, when to drop the feed teeth and more. The Help menu will pop up automatically when any adjustments need to be made. To change the language, touch the Set tab, touch More at the bottom of the first Set menu, Touch the language button until your language appears in the window. 
Touch OK to close the set menu. There are 19 specialty stitch menus on your Designer 1, featuring over 600 stitches for all types of sewing and embroidery. Select menu A, the utility stitch menu, featuring the most commonly used stitches for everyday sewing. Stitch A2, the center needle straight stitch, will be selected when you turn on your Designer 1. The recommended presser foot is displayed to the left. Touch 24 to 35 to access the sub-menu filled with many practical stitches. Touch 1 to 23 to return to the top menu of menu A. Touch stitch A2 for center needle straight stitch. Touch menu tab to return to the main menu. Touch menu E to bring up the quilting menu. These special stitches for quilters include E8, the feather stitch for crazy quilting, and E24, the beautiful stippling stitch. Touch menu to return to the main menu. Touch menu P for the outline block alphabet. The uppercase menu comes up first. To bring up a letter, simply touch the letter. To bring up the lowercase menu, touch the lowercase a. For the number menu, touch the number 1 on the bottom row. This menu includes special signs. Touch the menu tab to return to the main menu. On the U menu, which is shown with a heart symbol, you can customize a favorite stitch menu saving your own personal settings for a stitch. Touch the menu tab to return to the main menu. Touch menu V. This menu is special stitches and features a straight stitch and a zigzag for free motion stitching with the feed teeth down. Touch menu. Touch menu A. Stitch A2 to begin sewing. Your new Designer 1 has sensor foot lift. Touch the down function button to lower the presser foot. Touch the pivot button to pivot fabric. Touch up for presser foot up. Touch up again to raise the presser foot to the extra lift position. To lower the presser foot, simply step on the foot control. Sew a little, then stop. Touch the needle stop function button to set the needle to stop down. Turn the fabric, sew again, and stop. Turn or pivot the fabric. To remove the fabric from the machine, touch the selective thread cutter function. The needle brings the thread down and both threads are cut. To sew without the foot control, touch the start-stop function button. To adjust between five different sewing speeds, stop sewing and touch the minus speed function button to slow the sewing speed. You can adjust the speed while sewing, but no pop-up will appear. Touch the plus speed function button to increase the sewing speed. While sewing, touch the reverse function button. Your Designer 1 sews in reverse as long as you hold the reverse button in. For permanent reverse, stop sewing and touch the reverse button twice. Sew. The reverse button will stay lit and your Designer 1 will sew in reverse until you touch the button again. Touch the Fix button to tie off a stitch. Your Designer 1 automatically sews the tiny fixed stitches at the beginning of a seam. Touch the fix button to tie off at the end. The color touch screen suggests the best presser foot. To change the presser foot, pull it down and toward you. Then snap the new foot into the ankle. The help menu suggests the right needle for your project. Read about needles in the user's guide and in the accessory user's guide.
Turn your designer one off. Loosen the needle clamp screw and pull the needle down. Insert the new needle flat side away from you and tighten the screw. Your designer one sews beautiful embroideries. Place the embroidery unit carrying case with the logo up. Slide the latches away from the handle to open the case. Your designer one includes a standard size hoop and a large designer hoop. Each with a placement template, the R embroidery foot, small scissors, designer sampler disc 100, font discs, the designer sampler embroidery booklet, a template pencil, and practice fabric, thread, and tearaway stabilizer. Page through the sampler design booklet to see the beautiful embroideries and font lettering. Open the door at the back of your designer one. Slide the embroidery unit into place, pushing it firmly into the socket. Follow the pop-up menu to clear the embroidery unit area by touching OK. Snap on the embroidery foot R. Slide the sampler disk 100 into the built-in disk drive. Touch the disk icon. The hourglass indicates the designs are being loaded into the machine. Touch design menu 1. Six beautiful pictures of embroideries appear. Touch design 2 the beautiful leaf and fruit design, and see your embroidery in color before you sew it. The hoop size is selected automatically. Thread your designer one with the first color, light green. Touch help. The size 80 universal needle. Forty weight thread on top. 70 weight bobbin thread and stabilizer are recommended. Use presser foot R. In the help menu, there is also an icon to bring up a color menu. It shows you color number, stitch count, and color name included in your embroidery. Close the color menu by touching OK. Use the Designer One embroidery booklet and template to place the embroidery on your fabric. Trace the embroidery design onto the template with the template pencil. You do not need to trace every detail, just the outline of the design. Place the template on the fabric to be embroidered. Use the pictogram pen to mark the fabric in the center and through the horizontal and vertical slits in the template. Loosen the screw on the outer hoop. Place Husqvarna stabilizer and fabric on top of the outer hoop and place the inner hoop on top of the fabric with the tiny arrow toward you, matching the outer hoop arrow. Match the marked lines with the marks on the hoop. Push the inner hoop firmly into the outer hoop. Tighten the screw and be sure the fabric is tight in the hoop. Slide the hoop onto the embroidery unit so it locks into place. Touch the start stop button to begin embroidery. Your designer one will begin stitching, then stop. A pop-up menu prompts you to cut the top thread tail. 
cut the thread. Touch the start stop button to resume embroidering. Your designer one will automatically embroider the first color, in this case, the light green leaves. When embroidering, a cursor indicates the needle position in the embroidery. The sensor foot pressure means the embroidery presser foot glides over the fabric, stabilizer and embroidery. If your top thread breaks or runs out, your designer one stops sewing and a pop-up menu prompts you to re-thread. Re-thread and step back a few stitches by touching the minus button under the color stitch count window. Touch start stop and trim the thread tail as before to continue sewing. Your Husqvarna Viking embroiders up to 700 stitches per minute. The speed is computer controlled on different stitch types for precision. If your bobbin thread runs out, your designer one stops sewing and a pop-up menu prompts you to re-thread and replace the bobbin. To remove the bobbin, touch the stitch restart button. The hoop moves out of the way. Raise the hoop slightly to remove the bobbin, wind a new bobbin, and replace the bobbin. Touch Stitch Restart to bring the embroidery hoop back to the exact embroidery position. Step back a few stitches. Touch Start Stop to continue the embroidery. Your Husqvarna Viking Designer 1 will stop sewing, the top thread will be cut automatically by the selective thread cutter, and a pop-up menu will prompt you to change to thread color number 2, green. Thread the top with color 2. Sew the remaining colors of the embroidery, changing thread color as prompted by the color touch screen. When your designer one has completed the embroidery, the selective thread cutter cuts both top and bobbin thread and the needle and presser foot are raised to the highest position for easy removal of the hoop. Press the button on the hoop clamp to release the hoop. Snip the jump threads and enjoy. This is one of our favorite embroidered designs. Touch the menu button two times to return to the design menus. Touch menu four to bring up 16 standard size embroideries. Touch design one, the flower. The color touch screen displays the design number, 
disc 100, menu 4, design 1, the number of stitches in the design, also known as the stitch count, the width, and the height of the design. You can select different hoop sizes. Touch the hoop button. The optional mini hoop size is not available because this design is too large for that hoop. Touch the large designer hoop. The color touch screen indicates the placement of the flower in the large hoop. Below the color stitch count window, step through the design stitch by stitch backward with the minus or forward with the plus. Step through the design color by color, backward with the minus or forward with the plus. Touch more. Move the hoop to check the size and placement of the design with the four-way arrow button. Move the starting position of the design with the four positioning arrows. See the placement of the design in the hoop on the color touch screen. Touch adjust. Touch the rotation button to rotate the design. Touch the side-to-side -side mirror image button. Adjust the size of the design up to 20% larger or smaller with the plus and minus, height and width buttons. See the design on the color touch screen. You can sew a variety of flowers with the adjust options. Touch the menu tab. Touch design 9. This will sew in the upper left corner of the hoop. Touch the help tab for recommendations on thread, needles and stabilizer. Touch adjust to bring up the adjust menu. Touch start stop to sew design 9 in the upper left corner of the standard hoop. Trim threads as prompted by the pop-up menu. So the beautiful design. Touch the rotate button on the adjust menu. Touch it one time to sew the design in the upper right corner of the hoop. Sew this part of the design. Touch rotate again to sew the design in the lower right corner of the hoop. Touch rotate once again to sew the design in the left lower corner. This beautiful four-way design can be sewn many different ways. Push the button to slide the disc out of the built-in disc drive. Create embroidered kitchen accessories with built-in color customizing.
To customize the flowers and tea time lettering, slide in the Palace Script font disk. Touch Program. Touch Menu to bring up the lettering menus. Select Palace Script size 20 mm to bring up the lettering menu in the 20 mm size. To program the word tea time, touch T. The capital letter T appears on the top of the color touch screen in the programming area. The cursor line moves to the right, ready for the next letter to be entered. Touch the lowercase a on the bottom row of letters to bring up the lowercase menu. Touch E and continue programming the letters. If you need to correct a misspelling, use the delete button. It erases your programmed letters backwards step by step. Touch OK to bring up the programmed word Tea Time on the color touch screen. Slide out the lettering disk and slide in the designer sampler disk 100. Touch the main menu to load disk 100. Touch design menu 4. Touch Design 14. A box around the design indicates it has been selected and can be customized. Touch Adjust. Touch Rotate. Touch Mirror Image. Touch OK. Select the word Tea Time. The box will move to the word. Touch Adjust and touch rotate one time. Touch OK. Select the design. Use the down arrow to move the design down. Touch Menu and Design 14. A box around the design indicates it has been selected and can be customized. Touch Adjust and rotate the design three times. Touch Mirror Image. Touch OK to close. Use the arrows to position the designs as desired. To delete the design in the box, touch Delete. To bring up a saved design, touch Load. To save a design on floppy disk, touch Save. Use arrows to find an empty memory marked with green and touch OK. To sew, touch repeat. Check size and placement with the arrow button at the bottom of the color touch screen. Touch the start stop function button to begin sewing. Your Designer 1 will sew the customized designs in the order you brought them onto the color touch screen. Change color as prompted on the color touch screen. Complete instructions for this tea cozy are in the Husqvarna Viking Unbelievable Designer 1 booklet, available at your dealer store.
Slide in the Sampler 100 design disc and touch the disc icon. There are several designs especially for quilting. Touch menu 4 and select design 16 for a beautiful quilting design. Hoop batting and stabilizer with the fabric in the standard hoop. Slide the hoop on and touch the stop function button to cancel the color stops. Use this function to eliminate the color stops in a design. Touch start stop to embroider. Trim the threads as prompted. Create beautiful quilts with your Husqvarna Viking Designer 1. You can sew programmed stitches within the hoop. Touch Prog. Touch Menu M. Touch M12. And M14. Touch Adjust. Select Side to Side Mirror Image. Touch Rep to Sew. Lift the button at the front of the embroidery unit and slide it off. Snap on presser foot A. Why not sew something special for one of the little people in your life? Touch the sewing advisor. Touch stretch medium fabric. Touch seam overcast. Touch OK. This stitch saves time because it sews the seam and overcasts the fabric edge all at once. Use it to sew ribbing on the neckline of a t-shirt. Our shirt features a double ribbing technique. The sewing advisor selects the best stitch for the weight of the fabric you are sewing. See the different seam overcast stitches for different types and weights of fabric. Touch the baste technique to sew a temporary fitting seam that can be removed easily. Touch blind hem and snap on the D foot as recommended to stitch invisible hems. Consult your user's guide for folding and pinning instructions. Touch stretch medium fabric and the hem technique for ready to wear hem and knit garments. Touch woven heavy fabric and hem for a top stitched hem in slacks and jeans. The sensor foot pressure floats over seams. Slide the leg over the free arm for easy sewing. Touch woven medium fabric and buttonhole. Notice the buttonhole foot. The red wheel next to the foot recommends the sensor buttonhole foot. Snap on the sensor buttonhole foot and plug it into the socket. Line up the white line on the foot with the white line on the red wheel. Set the button size with the plus and minus buttons. Use the buttonhole rule in the user's guide to determine the buttonhole size. Begin at the bottom of your buttonhole and sew the buttonhole. The machine sews the left side in reverse, then bar tacks and sews the right side, the bar tack, and the tie off. The wheel measures the length of the buttonhole as you sew.
Wait at the end of the buttonhole for the selective thread cutter to cut top and bobbin thread and to raise the presser foot. Touch close to close the sewing advisor. Buttonhole B2 is selected. For small areas like this collar, snap on the C foot and begin sewing at the bottom of the buttonhole. At the end of the first side, touch reverse and continue sewing. When the buttonhole columns are the same length, touch reverse. Your designer one will tie off and stop sewing. To sew on buttons, touch stitch B13. The X through the foot on the color touch screen tells you to snap off the presser foot and use the ankle only. Lower the feed teeth with its small dial in the lower front of the free arm. Touch the sensor foot lift pivot function button to bring the ankle down on the button. Turn the hand wheel to complete the stitch manually to be sure the needle goes into the holes of the button. Sew several stitches and touch reverse to tie off. Touch the selective thread cutter to cut threads and raise the presser foot. Be sure to raise the feed teeth after sewing buttons. To gather fabric, touch the basting stitch A23. Touch adjust and set stitch length to 4.5. Touch OK to close the adjust menu. Sew two rows of stitching along one edge of the fabric. Pull up the bobbin threads to gather. Your Husqvarna Viking Designer 1 features 25 different needle positions. Touch stitch A1 for left needle position, A2 for center needle, and A3 for right needle. To set additional needle positions, touch adjust and touch minus on the width button to move the needle six right needle positions. Touch side to side mirror image plus the width button for six left needle positions. To top stitch along the edge of a collar, touch stitch A1. Snap on the D foot or the optional edge stitching accessory foot and sew with the guide along the edge of the collar. Touch menu to return to the main menu. To stitch a zipper in place, first use the free motion zigzag stitch. Touch menu V stitch to and adjust width. Lower the feed teeth. From the wrong side, place the zipper over the seam allowance and stitch several zigzag bar tacks in place along the zipper to baste. These will be removed later. Raise the feed teeth. Touch stitch A1. Snap on the zipper foot with the needle on the left. Sew across the bottom edge of the zipper, touch needle stop down to pivot, and stitch with the edge of the foot along the edge of the zipper teeth. Snap the zipper foot on with the needle on the right.
touch stitch A3. Stitch across the bottom of the zipper and along the other side. Use the seam ripper to remove the basting zigzag bar tacks. Touch stitch A8, the reinforced stretch straight stitch to mend and sew strong seams. Select stitch A15, the 9 mm wide multiple zigzag to overcast the edges of loosely woven fabrics. Touch stitch A33, the darning stitch to mend tears. Use fine thread that matches in color. Sew over the tear touch reverse and continue sewing. This automatic darning stitch will stitch 12 times back and forth over the tear to repair it. Place the stabilizer under lightweight fabrics. Touch stitch A32, the automatic bar tack. Stitch to sew professional bar tacks. Touch the selective thread cutter to cut threads and remove the project. To sew patches, touch menu S, stitch eight. Snap on the S foot. Sew across the top from left to right. Touch the four-way button on the color touch screen or reverse button to change the direction of the stitch. Touch the direction button. Sew across the bottom of the patch from right to left. Touch the direction button. Sew the left side of the patch from bottom to top. Your Designer One stitches beautiful applique for garments and home decoration. Touch applique menu F and stitch F4, a 4 mm wide pre-programmed satin stitch. Snap on the clear decorative stitch foot. Place fabric with stabilizer under the presser foot. Touch needle stop down. Satin stitch around the applique. Stop at the corners with the needle on the outside of the patch. Pivot thanks to the sensor foot lift. Continue to satin stitch around the applique. Touch stitch F6, the automatic taper stitch. The taper stitch begins sewing at a point and widens to a satin stitch. Touch reverse to taper the end to a point. Adjust width and length of a stitch in the adjust menu. Touch selective thread cutter to cut threads and raise the presser foot. Touch the heirloom applique stitch, also called the buttonhole stitch F11. Touch adjust. Touch plus or minus to adjust the length or width of the stitch. See the altered stitch in the direction it will sew. Touch mirror image. 
Stitch this beautiful stitch around your applique. Touch menu to return to the main menu. Touch menu L, decorative stitches. Select the heart stitch L7. Snap on the B foot. Sew. In the middle of a heart pattern, touch fix to tie off. Touch the stitch restart button to begin sewing at the beginning of a heart pattern. To sew only one heart pattern, touch stop. Your designer one stops at the end of the heart. Touch stop again to cancel. Touch adjust. Change the heart with the plus or minus. The density of the stitch will remain the same, but the heart will be larger or smaller. Touch stitch L22, touch adjust, and mirror image end to end. See the design change on the color touch screen and when you sew it. To program stitches, touch prog. Return to the main menu. Touch menu D. Stitch D13. Touch D13 again and touch Adjust. Touch End-to-End -end Mirror Image. Touch OK to close the Adjust menu. Touch Repeat to sew. See the stitches in the direction they will sew. For a wide cross stitch design, sew two rows side by side. To program letters and numbers, touch Program. Select Menu O, Block Letters. Touch F. Touch O. Touch R. Touch Stop to sew the word one time only. Touch Repeat and Start Stop to sew. Quilting is easy on your Husqvarna Viking Designer 1. Touch menu E and stitch E1 and snap on the A foot for a straight stitch to piece quilt blocks. Select E5 for distinctive serpentine quilting. Touch E15 and stop. Sew one diamond stitch pattern evenly over the quilt top to tie the quilt. Touch E21 to stitch one of the beautiful Crazy Patch quilting stitches on your Designer 1. This lovely vest is one of the projects in the Designer 1 booklet. Touch E24 for fast, easy stippling on quilts. Touch E2 for a hand-look quilt stitch sewn with transparent thread on top. Touch E1 and slide on the edge quilting guide for even rows of channel quilting.
Heirloom sewing is fast and easy with your Designer 1. Touch menu D, stitch D7, the entredeaux stitch. Insert the wing needle and stitch on a cotton or linen fabric for heirloom entredeaux stitches. For lace insertion, place a piece of lace on the fabric and stitch down both edges with the D7 entredeaux stitch. There are many beautiful hem stitches on heirloom menu D. For the look of hand smocking, use stitches D30 through D35. Touch stitch D32 and sew over pre-pleated fabric. Touch menu A, stitch A31, the bridging stitch. Snap on the edge joining foot, which is an accessory foot, and butt lace to a finished edge. Return to the main menu. Sew side motion scallops up to 15 millimeters wide. Select menu H, stitch H7. Snap on the S foot as recommended. Pictogram embellishment is easy. Simply program satin elements from the C menu. Touch stitch C2. Touch adjust and elongate to 4. Close adjust. Touch stitch C22. Touch adjust. Shorten to 2. Close adjust. Touch stitch C2. Touch adjust. Touch end-to-end -to -end mirror image. Close adjust. Touch stop. Touch repeat. Sew the pictogram. Touch the V menu and lower the feed teeth for free motion stitching. Touch stitch V1, straight stitch. Snap on the R foot and because the feed teeth are down, you move the fabric as you sew. To save your favorite stitch in the U menu, select a stitch. For example, select menu N, stitch N2. Go to the set menu and select save. Touch the desired position for your stitch. If there is no free position available, or if you want to replace a stitch, touch an occupied position. The new stitch replaces the other. If you want to delete a stitch, select the stitch, access the set menu, and touch delete. For specialty sewing techniques, touch plus to increase and minus to decrease upper thread tension. Touch plus to increase and minus to decrease presser foot pressure. And plus or minus to balance darning stitches and buttonholes. Set the needle to stop up or down with these buttons. When sewing with a twin needle, enter the size of the twin needle. The width will be limited for the size of your twin needle and you see the adjusted stitch on the color touch screen. Touch OK in menu to return to the main menu. Care of your designer one. Turn off the machine and snap off the presser foot. Slide off the bobbin cover and lower the feed teeth. Use the lint brush with the small accessory on the end. Insert it into the slot at the back of the stitch plate. Twist the brush toward you to pop off the stitch plate. Lift out the bobbin case holder and the bobbin case and brush the lint away.
set the bobbin case in place with the tension spring toward you. Set the bobbin case holder in place and snap on the stitch plate. Be sure it's on all the way. Slide the cover in place and snap on the presser foot. Raise the feed teeth. Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing.